They are just simple square boxes, but they are designed to save the lives of families and potentially even school children. And they were invented right here in Rochester. I'm Berkeley Breen. That story coming up. There was a natural disaster or a terrorist attack coming up. We'll tell you about one such place in an exclusive story that has the potential to save lives. It's next, Digging for Answers, reporting them first. Train thousands of people how to do this structure, and then we'll send the armies out and we'll start building them. Right now, Oz safe rooms are designed to be in backyards to protect small families. Soon, you may find some large enough to protect entire schools or even entire hospitals. Zagorski says he's getting calls to build shelters for homes in Rochester. He says tornadoes hit here more often than people know. His business is protection. They said in 10 years, as, as we're sitting around talking, these structures will be saving people's lives every day. Now, the federal government, FEMA to be exact, told Zagorski that he could sell these things from anywhere from twenty to $80,000, but he's selling them to families, particularly in Oklahoma, for only 7500 Reporting live in the newsroom, Berkeley Breen, News 10 NBC. People who live in Tornado Alley will be safe because of this Rochester man. We'll tell you why next on News 8 Now at 11. Watching Rochester's first television station, WROC-TV. Covering all of Western New York, this is News 8 Now at 11. Sweeping changes for the Rochester Police Department on a scale not seen in 30 years. The only time I ever seen a tornado was on The Wizard of Oz. And this Western New York man is the genius behind a one-of-a-kind invention that will keep people in Tornado Alley safe from disaster. Good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for joining us. I'm Kevin Dorn. And I'm Maureen McGuire. A local entrepreneur could save countless lives with his latest invention. It's known as a safe room to protect families trapped by a tornado. And though he's poised to take a growing business by storm, News 8's David McKinley reports that for Andrew Zagorski, it's become more about a mission than money. The difference. Every day. This is News 8 Now. Good evening, everyone. It has been said what Rochester needs is its next George Eastman. Well, we may have found him in the form of Drew Zagorski. Drew's idea to create the world's first above ground tornado proof shelter may be about to take the country by storm. News 8's Dave McKinley is here to tell us about it, Dave. Maureen, like Eastman's brownie, which brought photography to the masses, Zagorski's product is simple in design, easy to use, and increasingly seen as something that could be in high demand. We first introduced him to in 2003 and found two years later, he's made important strides in what could be the next big thing. All those, all those. When we first met Drew Zagorski two years ago, it was most appropriately at a business incubator where his concept was still in its infancy. He placed a few of his Oz safe rooms in homes in tornado prone areas of Oklahoma, hoping to demonstrate their worth. There was people that said when it gets hit, it will never survive. Ironically, the proof otherwise came about two weeks after we first introduced you to it. May 8th. 203. When a monster twister obliterated this house where he'd installed one. This is the first time in the history of man that an above ground structure took a direct hit from a super twister with no damage. We shut up every skeptic in the world about this safe room. And there's engineers that said what we've done is impossible. In the two years since, this guy from Rochester's been getting lots of attention from the media and not just the Weather Channel as seen here. We've been on Nova. Um, uh, Discovery Channel, National Geographic said it was the best invention for the 21st century. And a lot of attention from governments. We're getting calls from every state in the United States for safe rooms. Minnesota may have been the most important. They passed a law that all new construction has to have a FEMA approved safe room, which is good. Because he has the only one. And if other states follow suit as he expects, Drew Zagorski could be holding the cards to a hand worth hundreds of millions of dollars in an industry he figures will eventually employ a quarter of a million Americans. But before that can happen, he's still perfecting his design through a partnership at RIT. They've done all kinds of uh, extreme testing on our safe rooms. <laughs> and he's just secured the last of 24 patents for this otherwise simple looking structure. But. This 50-something entrepreneur, who already made enough in his prior career to have retired once, is not slowing down. He's now designing an entire tornado-proof house. And the Department of Homeland Security wants to see if he can build safe houses for bioterrorism because, as we all learned in September of 2001, we're not in Kansas anymore. 
Dave McKinley, News 8 Now.